Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. Hope you guys are doing alright. And may you say blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link and I'll look into it. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to Jay-Z, finally he reveals his secret. Jay-Z finally reveals his secret to success. I open it. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. People who you started your life off with and what success does to them. People look at you strange saying you changed, like you worked that hard to stay the same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success. So you are changing. You don't change who you are, the core of who you are, the things you believe, the things you love, and the things you die for, and your principles. You don't change that, but you're going to change who you are. You're going to change. You know, you can't do the same things that you, you can't hang on the corner. Some people may not be comfortable with that. And then it deals with the other side of success, how people look at you when you're successful media medals, people sue you, settle, every step you take, they remind you, you get it. so no matter how far you are, you still have that stigma on you of where you come from when you walk inside the door. Even if you have a tuxedo on, it's like, oh yeah, that's the guy who used to be this and did that. Most kings get their head cut off. I mean, in war, battle, and in life, at the end of the day, you've achieved everything you want. You've made it to the top of the throne and at the end of the day, you just get your head cut off. That meant most to me and always, you know, coming up, I always believed in it, the way you live your life, you affect the outcome of your life, you know, and calm and everything. So I just will want to be remembered as a very honest and straight up guy. You know, I'm pretty much a mirror. You know, if someone's cool with me, I'm like energies attract, right? You give off energy, you get that energy back. So. Just a person that was of the utmost integrity, you know, honest, very hardworking, and someone who really cared about the culture. Because at the end of the day, I mean, that's, that's what I'm pushing everyone for. Because this thing right here, this music thing is a thing that I don't think everyone figured into the equation, right? Because, you know, you have projects and you have you know, certain people sectioned off in certain areas and you have better schools here and worse schools here. And, you know, this whole thing was like a chessboard again. This whole thing was set out a certain way. And then rap music came and it turned everything around. It, it just threw every equation that was factored in already. It just threw that thing for a loop. So I have a responsibility to the culture as well. Things don't happen to you, they happen for you. That's life. Everything is life. It happens for you. Everything is for your greatest good. No matter what it looks like. I mean, you know, they say you want to make God laugh, tell them your plans, right? You can't control the future. I mean, you can control it up to some point. You can't control what others do. You can't control anything. Someone can run a red light and that's the end of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you just, you can't, you only can control what you can control. Mm -hmm. So, things don't happen to you, they happen for you. I've been taught everything but emotional intelligence. You know, that's wow. not what you're taught as a young man growing up in projects. You're Absolutely. taught to survive. Absolutely. You know, not getting stuck on a specific thing. It's whatever works for whatever situation at the perfect time. The idea really is to create these things and these foundations that you can pass on to the next generation so we can get those opportunities that we spoke of earlier that we didn't get, you know, earlier. And they can build and take it even further. My hobby is ownership now. My hobby is realizing the rooms that I've been able to get into, the hands that I shake, and the personnel that I'm around. I don't take that for granted. Are you just supposed to shake their hands? Or are you supposed to make more of those moments? That's what we don't do enough of. Our culture is caught up in the cool. Our culture is caught up in what we are. You don't realize the reason why the other side has worked so long and why they're so successful is because they figure out how to hold on to the handshake. They hold on to the handshake. We minimalize the opportunity 
to grow and be around and be a part because we're so self, so self-involved. We're real wealth and opportunities are built. I now do, and my priority is that. So the way you talk about me when I made that decision, my new decision is to focus on that. Right now I'm chasing, what's the thing that I can build that will last and that other people can come through and other people can say, I, I, I went through this tunnel and this propelled me to doing blah, blah, blah. How many jobs can I create in here? You know, someone sees someone doing something and then say, you know, I want to do the other version. I want to do the, the Burger King version of this McDonald's mm -hmm. idea. And then it's not based on their love or passion of what they want to do. It's based on getting the look that, that makes people think we're equal. Yes. And we got to get out of that space, obviously, you know, as a people and, and really lean on each other and work and, and talk. And I think for some reason that's been the most difficult thing. And I think it's difficult because the assumption of egos from some of the biggest people that would be at that table of they'll probably never do it or he'll probably know. There's an assumption of personnel and what that person may or may not do. But I think the correct table of men and women and just the will and want to do something together, it changes a, a huge narrative and it's scary. Yeah. It's scary as to what yes. we could actually yes. do if we actually sat down. Yeah. You know, no one wants to lose control. It's like, is he getting more than me? Then this person's doing that. You know, but I think we're getting closer. Once we eliminate some of them barriers of like just so many people involved, you know, we can figure out a way to like really just like join together and do things. I was actually going to FaceTime with Ty today, Tata. And I was saying like, I don't think people realize that we just sit around all the time and like, can you believe this shit? Can you fucking believe it? I can't believe this shit. That, like, they, that I've been I able mean, to do. Just the place where we from and where we come from. Like everyone has that story, right? We are from tough locations mm -hmm. and that's just the way the world was set up. But just like the things that we were able to overcome and where we sit now today. I love people, mm -hmm. you know? So I don't have that sort of thing. Like I want to vote Republican just to <laughs> save more money. Right. That's not the end game. It's not about who got more money right. and who got more houses. Right. Yes. Yeah, you know, you've earned it, buy what you want, you know? But don't forget what's important. Without right. people, and it's, being rich is be very boring. Right. <laughs> no one to share with, no one to have, yeah. have you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you yeah. just be a rich yeah. person, one person on the planet, just yeah. like, yeah. well, then what do you do? Because I have an obligation, going back to the story of OJ, is to further conversation mm -hmm. of an entire race of people. Not me, mm -hmm. all of us. But specifically me, since you're asking the question, is to open up dialogue. It's okay to think. It's okay to be smart. You know, there's a time where people was like, you're talking white. Mm -hmm. It's like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I know words. Intelligence is not a tribute to color. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've heard it grown up many times. You're speaking yeah. white. Like, yeah. white. Speaking like I know words. And, yeah. and it's okay. It's fine. You know, mm -hmm. so I have an obligation to further the conversation in all ways. Mm -hmm. You know, our stature in America, mm -hmm. our emotional maturity, and so on and so forth. It's humbling at the same time. It's like, you know, it's what you've been charged with in life. Right. And I think, believe, since the beginning of time, the poets have been charged with that. Like, mm -hmm. it was the poets that's explaining the emotions and making these songs that people are like, oh, that's what I feel. Right. When you go into survival, well, what happened? You shut down. Right. You shut down all emotions. Right. So even with women, you got shut down emotionally. So you can't connect. And then now all things happen from there. Can't connect because of the way you feel about yourself, you mean? Yes. In my case, like, it's deep. Right. And I've done it from the beginning of my career. Two things, you know. One, no one knew the characters. So it wasn't as impactful, mm -hmm. you know. And Two, it wasn't coming from a place that was as evolved. And it's very difficult, you know, it's hard. It's hard to hear songs back. It's hard to perform songs, but I feel it's the most important work that I've done and I'm very proud of it. The effect that it's having on people, even like the studio sessions, right. you know, we were having four hour conversations after playing one song. I learned so much about people that was around me, just my mm -hmm. friends, I learned 
things about them that I didn't know. You can't sacrifice others for your life. You know, that's, there's a karmic debt that has to be paid. Had I had the level of consciousness then that I have now, things would have turned out differently. And just knowing that, I definitely want everyone to know that. I walk in representing hip hop. You know, I don't, I don't try to hide that or try to, you know, talk different or, you know, or hide the fact that's where I came from. You know, you hip hop guy, you're different. No, I'm not different. You know. I mean, I'm different as an individual, but a lot of people haven't had conversation with everybody in hip hop. Usually it gets categorized as you guys. All of you guys is this one thing, and that's not true in any field, you know? So when people talk to me and they say things like, you know, you're not like those guys, it's like, that's not true. You should have a conversation with those guys. What a lovely video. Um, change is one of the things that was mentioned in the beginning. And many times people don't realize that people are bound to change. You can't be the same person you were when you were 5, 10, 25, 35, 45. You're constantly evolving whether you know it or don't. Be it emotions, be it intelligence, be it physically. You're evolving, you know. You can't stay the same person. There are people in this world that want you to be the same person even when you make it because of success. Actually, I'm of, of the opinion that if someone wants to succeed, they will succeed. And um, I feel like we should clap for everyone around us that's succeeding. We shouldn't be those people that want to hold them back because they want something different from them because we know they're going to be uh, become into a different person turn into a different person you know um, I think it's only necessary to clap for our friends when they make it Rule number one number two is just because they know my friend is good at this and she wants to pursue this doesn't mean I should come in and prevent her from doing that you know just because you know I'm good at something and I want to follow that path doesn't mean you should come in and um, prevent me from doing it because you know I'm going to achieve the highest level of success in that thing. That's one thing we need to learn. And some people feel like they're still the same person, but no, they've changed. To other people, you've changed. Listen to what people say when they say you've changed. Change doesn't mean you've become a bad person, no. Change means you're better at this maybe you've got you've become better at listening maybe you've become better at responding when i text maybe you've come you've become better at working in a group it's it could mean many many things you know and they there was a mention of a stigma of where you're coming from it doesn't matter what brand you're dripped in from head to toe you're always going to be funny from this place you're always going to be um james from this place you're always going to be faith from this place or gideon from that place you can't shake off your background that you can't it's part of you it's part of your experience and it will always be with you for the rest of your life even though you've moved from that place to this place you know and um we shouldn't i feel like once you're succeeding don't mistreat people because you're succeeding tomorrow you're going to need those same people you're looking down upon that's why i think enjoy your success be good to people share your success if you have to you know you just don't want to be successful and alone then what was the point surround yourself with people that are going to help you improve yourself Run away from people that want you to be stagnant. Run away from any situation, not just people, but situations that are going to hold you, not help you grow or anything like that, you know. Uh, there's many points that were made in this video, but I just want to say, don't ever let someone tell you that the place you're in is the only place that you ever go to. 
or that's you you've made it that's it if you're not comfortable with your situation do something about it don't ever let anyone or any voice in your head tell you that you can succeed in life you can do better for yourself and you can't be this you can't be that just look at them and do it you know you can listen to someone or that voice in your mind that we usually get and say but i'm not good at this but i'm not sure about this work you know and just do it whatever the situation just do it whether you're scared do that thing you know and see how life changes for you otherwise everything changes just like time changes years change people change i mean at the end of the at the end of the day life has to happen let me know what you guys think about this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video